Hello, my name is David Jones. I've raced most of my life. I'm currently a um, UK youth squad class coach. I race RS 400s and I've raced them within the UK and internationally as well. And in this video, I want to explain to you the use of the WAPTAC on windward lured courses and deciding whether we jibe or bear away at the windward mark. We all know the importance of making that decision at the windward mark whether to bear away or jibe because if we get it wrong we end up sailing extra distance which is then we, we lose positions in that race. So the first thing we need to do to help the WATSAC make this decision for us is we need to dial the current wind direction into our WATSAC and from our previous video which is WATSAC line bias I explain in detail how to do that. Um, so, uh, for this instance and this, this diagram, we've set up the wind direction as 360 degrees. So we dial it at 360. So once we've dialed that, we then need to move the pointer to 360 degrees as well. So it's pointing in the same line as the middle line of the watt tack, like that, like, like that. Okay, so once we've done that, we are sailing our close hold course, the start has happened, we're sailing upwind towards the windward mark. Okay, so on we can see on starboard tack, our compass reading, without the wind shifting, and the wind being at 360 or zero, our compass reading on our boat compass should read about 315. And by looking here in the green section, which is starboard, our tacking line here is at 315, so we know that's okay. On port tack, if we look in the red section, we can see our boat compass should be reading about 45 degrees, and that lines up with our tacking line on port tack here. Now suddenly, we have a wind shift, and the wind shifts rides by 10 degrees. Okay, the first thing we do is we look at our new compass bearing, and the compass bearing is telling me that I'm now not sailing at 315 degrees, I'm now sailing at 325 degrees. So the important thing now to do is, because we, we're on starboard when the shift happens, we dial on the starboard side, we dial up to 325, because that's the new boat heading. Okay, so I've dialed my 325 on the tacking line here, without moving the pointer or anything. The, the, the important thing to do now is, is to look where the bottom of the pointer lies on which side, so we've got jibe on this side and bear away on this side of the watt tack. And the pointer now is, is pointing in the jibe section. So that's telling me, that watt tack is now telling me that at the windward mark, I, I, I want to jibe set rather than to bear away, because the wind shifts right. If I carry on and don't jibe, I'm sailing away from our lured mark. So if we put the jibe in because I've followed the watt tack, I can jibe and now I'm sailing a direct line to the lured mark and that reduces the distance we sail. We have three other videos, we have Olympic uh, triangles and trapezoids and um, we have a, a what tack start line bias video and we have um, choosing sail combinations for keelboats. I hope, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.